what, what goes through your head? Are you like, they think this guy can beat me? Oh yeah, I was super excited. I was like, hell yeah, this is a great opportunity. I knew they were going to be hyping him up big. So, uh, you know, it's like, this is a blessing, you know. Thank God, uh, I'm just super blessed to get this fight. You've obviously gone out of your way to throw some accusations out there. Any any uh, regret that, that you said that? Uh, no, I mean, really the camera, they'll, they'll pick and sort through what you say. So, uh, like... 90% of it wasn't bad, but they got that last 10%, so they're going to hype it up and make me look like the bad guy, whatever, you know. Keep it up. I don't really care. Uh, I'm out here to fight, so I'm not, not looking to be his friend. Uh, after the fight, you know, we can be cool, but until then, it's war, brother. Cody, you have more experience, uh, obviously, it makes better competition. Uh, do you approach this fight as just another fight, or have you amended your preparations? Oh, yes, sir, this is just another fight. Um, you know, I feel like I do have way more experience than this kid, so, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a long night for him and a uh, good night for me, so I'm excited. Has your team brought in any uh, fighters to replicate his body type or his fighting style? Yes, sir, we brought in some guys uh, that move kind of like him and stuff, so, uh, yeah, we've uh, had training partners and stuff come in, and, you know, it's going to be good. I'm excited. Uh, I'm ready for whatever he brings at me, and uh, I don't think he's going to be ready for what I'm bringing at him. We, uh, we hear from a lot of fighters, they, they say they have to enjoy the experience. We haven't seen a whole lot of smiles on your face. Are you enjoying this experience? Yes, sir, I'm enjoying this. Uh, you know, if I wasn't, uh, if I didn't love it, I wouldn't be doing it. So, uh, you know, it's going to be cool. Sometimes you got to be all serious and stuff. But, uh, you know, you got to remember, having fun. Uh, if you don't like what you're doing, get a new job. So, I like my job. Have you learned anything new about yourself? About um, this yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I mean, I've been the underdog plenty of times. So, it's just... Don't let the hype get to you, you know. Uh, I know that I'm a tough guy and, uh, you know, I'm breakable. You know, they're uh, counting me out for all you haters, uh, you know. I'm going to make you put your foot in your mouth, so it'll be fun. When you, you break things down, do you see talent there or do you feel like it's just a product of hype? He is a very talented kid, you know, don't get me wrong. But uh, that being said, he is still a kid, uh, you know. I'm going to put that old man strength on him, so, you know, it'll be fun. What's that feeling like for you, being considered kind of the underdog in this scenario here? Oh, it's cool, you know. Uh, man, I feel like I've been the underdog in every fight, so it's nothing new to me. Uh, I'm just excited, ready to get out there, go show the world that I have. Uh, great, great experience, you know, great opportunity, just go and uh, make the most of it. Do you feel in some ways you kind of have a little bit easier of a road being that all the spotlight right now has been on Sage and what he's been doing and what, what Sage up to, who's new to Sage, what pen can he do? That kind of thing. Do you feel like this? Definitely. Pressure? I think he needs to buy better pans because uh, <laughs> you know your cooking wear isn't very good if you can bend it. But uh, you know, just yeah, I feel like he, he's under a lot of pressure, and uh, I feel like that pressure is going to break him. So this is going to work to my advantage, and uh, I'm just really happy and excited to go and you know go and smash, do what I love. Tony, on paper, this is karate versus wrestling. Do you think the breakdown is that simple, or do you think there's some intangibles to consider? No, I mean, definitely Sage has some wrestling himself. He's got jujitsu. He's a tough, well-rounded fighter. I mean, if you look at his last fight, he took the dude down. If you look at all of his other fights, he took the dudes down. So I'm expecting everything from this kid. Uh, you know, just go fuck it, man. I'm going to go out there and fight and do what I do and just beat some ass, man. I'm excited. Just go to war and go kill. It's my time, my shine. His debut in the UFC lasted under a minute. Do you think that was time to really make any assessment of uh, where his skill level was at on the, on the big show? No, his opponent took the fight on short notice, came in overweight. You know, the dude belled his drug tests like, how serious were you being about this fight? That shit is not gonna happen with me. You know, they gave me a full eight weeks. I'm gonna come in there prepared, ready to fucking kill. And, uh, you know, it's, man, fuck this shit. I'm just ready to go fucking smash. I'm ready. It's just, ah, you know, I'm crazy, and uh, he's not gonna be able to handle it. So you said that, you know, you feel like you're the underdog in all of your fights. Is that something that you thrive off of, you know, like just, you know, not having too much attention or pressure on yourself? Yeah, that's good. Uh, I mean, I think definitely it works for me, you know. Everybody's different, but that works for me. So, yes, sir, it's going to work to my benefit. And despite that, you know, there's been a lot of attention for this fight, of course. How do you feel about this change? Because, I mean, this has got to be, you know, your most hyped fight ever. Definitely. Uh, I'm going to go out there and steal the hype. So, fuck it. They'll know who Cody Fister is after this, you know. Like, say two. <laughs>
Also, Cody, uh, you know, some of the comments that, that came to light this week, were those things that, that you had said to other people prior to this week, even before you knew you were fighting, say? Give me an example. Well, some of the things about him, like he might be overhyped, his inexperience, maybe just something you observed before you even knew you were going to fight him, something sure. Yeah, one of those things, you know, it's like, I don't know, you look at his record, uh, his opponent's record, if you combine it, it turns into a losing record, whereas if you did that with my opponent's record, they would have winning records. So, so, uh, you know, I just think it's a lot of overhype, you know, but it's cool. It works, you know. He's young. Uh, I guess he's, you know, Dana's new boy, you know. He's his lap dog for the moment, but I'm sure he'll kick him to the curb after that. You know, after I go and put him down, <laughs> they're going to throw him to the shit like they do everybody else. So, it is what it is.